Hello everybody, NCS here, presenting you a game from Konami, but Konami was still good. Being Castlevania Dawn of Sorrow, my second ever Castlevania game that I played. <laughs> even though I'm a huge fan of uh, Symphony of the Night, even back in the day, I never really noticed that there were any other Castlevania games other than the classic ones on the Nintendo systems, like, uh, I mean, NES and SNES. But since I never was a Nintendo kid, I could never play those games. So, Dawn of Sorrow here was my uh, second ever Castlevania game, and now I'm a huge fan of the series, and now they don't make any Castlevania games anymore. Fuck Konami. Anyway, um, as you may see uh, by this little Mima cursor here in the bottom screen, um, I'm playing this off an emulator because I can't record this any other way, so yeah, you'll have to look for that. But one good thing about a uh, emulator is we got save states. <laughs> I can draw stuff um, that actually looks like something. Well, okay, to be fair, that's because I have a graphical tablet and not because this is an emulator. Well, that's an additional benefit. But I can save these pictures. Haha. <laughs> Anyway, enough <laughs> fooling around, let's get started with the game! Which uh, is a sequel to Aria of Sorrow, actually, a Game Boy Advance game. We are playing as Summer Cruz, who is the rebirth of Dracula. Now that is interesting indeed. A year has passed since the events of Aria of Sorrow, and well, apparently his troubles aren't over, according to this little passage here. Also nice uh, scrolling down and anim well, animation, well, sort of. And sadly, we do not have the awesome pictures uh, that we were presented with the previous Castlevania games. Now it's more in an anime style. I mean, I'm, I like anime as much as the next guy, but it lacks a little bit of ch uh, charm that the like the portraits in Symphony of the Night and Aria of Sorrow had. Well, not that I played Aria before this one, I actually played Dawn of Sorrow before Aria, so uh, a couple of things that were stated in Aria I didn't know. But, okay, so apparently Soma has lost all of his powers after Aria. That is interesting. Ah, it's probably nothing, don't worry, I mean, it's only a... It's not a JRPG, but it's only from Japan, so nah, Premonition's nothing bad at all. Also, teleport uh, people teleporting in here randomly, nothing to worry about either. So this is Celia. But she won't be Celia for long. Wait, I don't think that's what she meant. How could she summon skeletons like that? What are we gonna do? Also, whenever Soma goes on a date with Mina, this shit happens. You, Soma, I really think you shouldn't meet uh, Mina anymore. Once again, yeah, eh? Did he just throw a knife at us? Well, yeah, he, he certainly did. And we can't step through this barrier, but apparently Mina is a mortal or something. You can't stab her, thankfully. Otherwise, she'd be dead now. Anyway, let's just slide kick the skeleton because <laughs> uh, it's a skeleton. I'm pretty sure, like, cutting and stabbing weapons are useless against bones. Unlike against this dude here. Ow, he stabbed me. <laughs> uh, anyway, as you've just seen, we observed. Oh, God, I'm doing horrible. Uh, a skeleton soul, and now we also got an armor knight's soul. Uh, we have three different types of souls that we can absorb. Uh, the red ones are bullet, the blue ones are guardian souls, and the yellow ones, which we don't have yet, are enchant souls. Uh, but, well, if things are going by uh, the logic we are presented, he will probably give us a guardian soul. Also, we, uh, yeah, we can use those guardian souls pressing up and attack. Hey, dude, let me explain stuff! <laughs> we can, uh, with the R button, use the guardian souls. And I use too much MP, oh well. And the enchant souls, we just 
Uh, they just give us a permanent boost. Well, permanent as long as you have them equipped anyway. And all the way to the left there, we could have seen Celia if we had gone that far. I shall see your demise, yeah, yeah. Typical evil guy speech. Or evil woman speech in this case, I guess. I mean, yeah, she teleported away. Last time I checked, we didn't have a soul that granted us the teleport spell. Oh, true, he did say he lost his power over Dominion, as it was called in the last game. Oh. Now that's nice. Genya has a point, though. I mean, why would we need to rule over, like, demons and stuff in the normal world, right? Yeah, who was that person? The priest is an of a new and rapidly growing cult. Ow, oh, don't tell me she wants to revive Dracula. Well, of course, everybody wants to. <laughs> a new lord? How would that work, though? Well, then I guess we are kind of Dracula. So, and Dracula keeps reviving, so if Dracula dies if they kill him, a new one will rise. I guess that makes sense. So yeah, and to protect ourselves, we will just go see this cult and destroy it ourselves. Bring us, it bring us ourselves into danger, so we can, you know, be killed by them and uh, help them achieve their goal. So my are you a little dense? Also, hammer. Yeah, what what are you doing here anyway? Well, yeah, you have a point there, but you went you went in. What do you mean with that? Not a soul, not even the skeleton and armor knight and golem that we absorbed there. So you pretty much just came because you wanted to see Yoko again, is that it? Also, do, do you want to set up another shop here? Really, Hammer? Oh, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, he's in it for the profit, I guess. <laughs> Great. Yeah, anyway, he's <laughs> looking really bummed out that Yoko isn't here. <laughs> I like how even the sprites actually <laughs> showed his emotion there. Nice touch. Yeah, we've made it to the uh, Lost Village, I think it was called. And uh, yeah, on the top screen there of the NDS, we have a nice little mini-map, which shows us uh, where we are and where we can go, which is pretty nice. Also, if we press the select button, we can switch to a status screen as well as see the enemies, like the, the weaknesses, the names, the souls they... well, the, technically the souls they have, but how many of their souls we have absorbed, and how rare they are. The more stars, the harder it is to get those souls. But it doesn't... I don't know if it's actually like, um... all three star souls are equally as hard to get or not. But I mean, I got this work first try, so I'll take that. <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah, this equip screen here, we can switch out our souls. Wow, that's expensive. 25 MP per use. Um, I, I guess while I'm here, I can go over it. We have HP, our hit points, which reaches zero, you die, normal as always. Our MP, which regenerates itself, or we can collect hearts by blowing up stuff. Well, candles, most importantly. Um, yeah, we can use this MP to attack stuff. Wow, that deals a lot of damage. Um, other than that, as you can see at the top screen, we have attack. Our physical attack that we, uh, well, yeah, use for attack with a knife, for example. Also, said knife is pathetically weak. But, I mean, it's a knife, and didn't we pick up another weapon? We did, we got a short sword, which is stronger. Has better range, but it's slightly slower. But eh, I mean, uh, 
it has three more attack, and considering we barely have any attack to begin with, that's pretty nice. Also, enemies can drop stuff, like those uh, it's, uh, zombies there, not skeletons. Just drop cloth tunic, which is a little stronger than our casual clothes. So yeah, let's wear those. Oh, we didn't get any other souls right now, so we're good to go and have another cutscene! Wow. What is this, an RPG with all the cutscenes at the front? Well, no it isn't, but it still has a lot of cutscenes at the beginning. And here we see two other characters we originally met in Ari of Sorrow, not that I, not that I would have known the first time I played this, but, well, Soma seems to know them, so everything's alright, right? But yeah, didn't we say Yoko wasn't here? Now you're here after all, you made us a liar, Yoko! Oh, Arikado told you, huh? <laughs> Mr. Balmont. That's the first time I actually ever address a Balmont with Mr. <laughs> Seems kind of weird. Yeah, that's what I've been saying too, but. She tried to harm Mina to act. Not really, she just wanted to kill you, and Mina was just. There. But I mean, if Silma wasn't here, we wouldn't have a game. Actually, we could be playing Julius. You know? Play a little bit of the Belmonts once in a while. It's kind of funny how none of. Or, yeah, none of the Metroidvanias or Egovania games have a Belmont as a primary playable character. It's kind of funny. At least I can't think of any of them. Um, I'm here too, and you just insulted me too, basically. Well, as I said, if we did, we wouldn't have a game, so... I would have preferred a sword, but I, I guess I'll take this magic seal. Gates that draw the power of darkness, ooh. Invincible, now that's not good. Uh, no, I'm okay. We'll see how to use them in a second anyway. Alright, alright. Well, yeah, I mean, he does have a double jump, but we don't. And sadly, we cannot swim either. Well, Actually, we can swim, but we cannot not swim. Why? <laughs> uh, sure, yeah, we'll escort you, I, I guess. And defeat a couple more wars. And zombies. And I would really like a few drops. Oh. Yeah, the axe armor have a pretty nice weapon. Really slow, but really nice still. Oh, but instead we get the zombie soul! Well, that's nice. Um, oh yeah, one more thing about those souls. As you can see, not only do they have uh, an MP per use, but all they also have a level. For each soul that you can get, or that you get for, like, if we get another zombie soul, our, well, zombie uh, attack would uh, become stronger. There are various, well, four different types of uh, level Soul, soul levels, whatever. And like the zombies, for each soul that you can get, it levels up by one. The wargs, no, the skeletons here, can only level up uh, three times. Well, two times actually. The first time you get them, then uh, sometime in between, and I think once you have nine souls, they become their strongest version. There are also souls that only level up up once, and souls that don't level up at all, mostly boss souls. But, yeah, basically it's a way to make those soul attacks stronger. Also down here we have a save room. Just press up here, save the game, and you're good to go. Also it heals you like it should. I mean, what is this, a game where you're not healed by a save point? That's so. So we basically have to draw a Wii, well, in this case, the game did it for us, um, to deal with the monster inside there. 
Calm and focus, alright, no problem at all. Also, I just remembered that I never got, uh, uh, went over the other stats, but I guess I'll do this after this boss battle, you know? <laughs> so here we have the flying armor. We don't know what he's weak to just yet because we don't have him in our database. We first have to destroy him. Also, I just realized that uh, equipping the zombie soul for this battle here was not only pointless but stupid because uh, that's what the zombie soul does. Yeah. <laughs> Useless against flying enemies, really. But, wow, I just wanted to say in all fairness this boss here is really easy anyway and that I got hit. The way it should be. Alright, so, with, uh, how the bo uh, bosses work in this game is, you deal enough damage to them and eventually those seals here will pop up. Um, you have to draw the seal like it was in the, uh, when you enter this room here, like what it showed you there. So let's draw a Wii here. And if you do it correctly, the boss will die. If you don't do it correctly, the boss will recover some health and you have to try to beat him all over again. Um, also, Mima, please get off of uh, Yoko's cheek there. Thank you. Um, yeah, so be careful to draw the seal correctly, but you also have to do it fast. The counter will only uh, actually count down once you start drawing the seal. But if you're too slow, it will also count as an incorrect uh, drawing of the magic seal. So yeah, you have to hurry up a little bit. With, and this mechanic is why a lot of people don't particularly like this game. <laughs> or at least, well, not that mechanic and uh, rate this game worse because of that. Of course I wouldn't do anything reckless, Yoko. I mean, I'm only fighting giant monsters and stuff. Alright, so we got the flying armor from this battle here. As you can see, it's level 1 of 1, so this is one of those souls that cannot be leveled up. Most of the boss souls are like that, because most of the bosses do encounter once. And actually, yeah, let's show up, uh, that, like, you can't make this jump without the flying armor. You are supposed to use it here. But I guess you some speedrunners probably can do it without, but a normal person can't even do it with the, <laughs> the flying armor. Yeah, so how the flying armor works is, you activate it, it zaps your MP as long as it's activated, but if you jump, your jump is, uh, your descent is slowed down. Anyway, for coming uh, over here, we get the Claymore, a heavy two-handed sword. It's even stronger. But also incredibly slow. But at least you have an overarching attack with that, so creatures like bats are really easy to destroy with that. For some reason I thought that sword would be out longer. <laughs> uh, we also got a spear over here. Wow, the, the game really front loads with weapons. It's also fairly slow, but the range is magnificent. I prefer the play more, however, because if slow, then at least have an overarching attack so you can hit flying enemies with that really easily. Oh, we got a mi another weapon! Wow, I did not remember this many weapons here. Alright. Yeah, the mace. It's, I think, even slower than the claymore, but a little bit more powerful. But I think it only. Uh, hits with the tip of the, the weapon, so you want to be careful with that. And we got the bat soul, wow! Damn, I, I can't even explain all the stuff <laughs> with all the stuff I keep getting. Uh, anyway, we up leveled up our zombie soul. It doesn't look different, but it should be dealing more damage now. And we got the bat soul, which summons the bat as a familiar, like, like how it worked in, um... In Symphony of the Night! Except that in Symphony it didn't gain your MP, but you know. And on here is Yoko! So... 
you can come here from time to time and uh, get some information. Apparently Hammer has made it down here as well. Makes me wonder if he got here before we defeated the Flying Armor afterwards, because he didn't have that much time to go down here and set up a shop after we defeated the Flying Armor. Huh. Oh well. And he will especially not budge now that you're down here, Yoko. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, you gained a new ability, now that is nice. True. Oh. Now that is interesting indeed. So yeah, basically, um... You can uh, fuse your souls that you get into weapons and make stronger weapons for that. Uh, I think you can get all the weapons regardless, except for the most powerful ones. But if you have an excess of souls, um, you can just synthesize them with your weapons. Like, I can make a cutlass out of a short sword, thus get a, short, uh, a cutlass way earlier than I should. Or I could use uh, the claymore with the walk soul and get a falchion. And stuff like that. Hmm. Why is it called Morgenstern, really? I mean, there's a morning star. It's it's the little translation. Why call it Morgenstern, really? Oh, well. Yeah, I'm not really going to make use of that. But. Simply because the weapons we get here are good enough. Also, soul release. Uh, I think how that works is that if you release a soul, they become more common. Not by a star, but just by, like, a fraction of a percent. So if you wanted to grind for souls, you can do that, I guess, but then you're releasing souls, so you're not having them anymore. And if, if you want to level up your souls, that's kind of counterproductive. But it's something you can do, I guess. And here we have Hammer, who has set up a shop here. <sighs> not quite Hammer, but yeah, sure, let's pretend that happened. <laughs> yeah, here we have a shop. Works like any shop, really. I mean, you can buy stuff, you can buy nine castle maps if you really wanted to, but we really only need one. So, if you buy that, if you look at the top screen there, we get more of the map now, which is pretty nice. I mean, we don't want to wander around in the unknown, right? Gotta be prepared, man. Also, we have UMA News. I don't know what that acronym stands for, but it's basically news about rare monsters, how you encounter them. Well, most... The first one usually tells you that they exist. The second and third one tell you how to encounter them. Also, we have some equipment here. I am not going to buy any of that because I want to save my gold. And considering that just gave me one dollar only, I probably will need to. <laughs> Alright, I think with all this tutorial out of the way, this is a good time to stop. Next time I will finally go over all the uh, different stats and um, go f deeper into the castle. Also, I apparently will grind out on these maps here. This was NCS, and farewell for now.